I'm Julie Lerman, author of Programming Entity Framework from O'Reilly Media. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my book as well as a bit about the Entity Framework. The first thing you might notice about the book is that it's big. It has a little over 800 pages and weighs in at 1,000 grams. I'm fond of the Amazon review that says, Not a page wasted. I spent over a year writing this book, and that began only after spending a year exploring Entity Framework while Microsoft was developing. Rather than just learn a few recipes about how to put code together, you'll learn how the Entity Framework functions so that you can be in charge. This book takes the approach of layering concepts with practical examples. In the early part of the book, you'll see a lot of code snippets and be encouraged to follow along. As your knowledge of the framework evolves, you'll write some small sample applications. This is a fun part of the book as I walk you through a variety of application types, Windows Forms, WPF, ASP.NET, and even WCF services. For many readers, this has also been a helpful intro to these technologies. Then you will go deeper into the APIs, and as you progress to the end of the book, you'll use these lessons to write three more complex applications to get some hands-on experience with implementing Entity Framework in the real world. Another reason the book is so long is that every sample is in both Visual Basic and C Sharp. I have a website to accompany the book where you can find working downloads of all of the sample apps from the book. O'Reilly provides a form and errata submission page where readers can submit questions and suggestions directly to me. The forum is fairly active and I've enjoyed interacting with readers. If you're unfamiliar with the Entity Framework, let me show you a bit of it here to give you some idea of the core concept. The Entity Framework is built on top of the concept of having a model of your domain objects directly in your development environment and your application. Here's a super simple model you will use in the early part of the book. There's additional metadata attached to this model that instructs the Entity Framework how the model relates to your database. With this in place, the Entity Framework allows you to build queries against this model. It's a huge advantage over trying to navigate your database directly, remembering the names of tables and fields, or what parameters a stored procedure expects. Once I've created a reference to the model, which is called an object context, I can write a query against it with IntelliSense support using Link to Entities. Here I will get a particular contact. First I build the query, and then I need to force it to execute. Since I'm only looking for a single entity, I can use the first method to Dell Entity Framework to go ahead, hit the database, and bring back the data. Once I have the data, I can make changes to it, and since the object context is still in scope, it will keep track of any changes I make to the contact. Here I'll edit the contact's last name, and also create a new address for the contact. I then add the new address to the context collection of addresses. Finally, I call the object context save changes method, which will trigger the entity framework to push the changes to the database. Now I'll run the application. You can see that the query returned a contact object. And now I'll step through the rest of the code and save the changes. I'll flip over to SQL Profiler where you can see the first query that was executed to get the contact. Then there are two more commands that were executed when I called Save Changes, an update which pushed in the new last name value, and an insert which inserted the new address using the ID of the contact. Entity Framework created and executed all of these commands on my behalf. This should give you an idea of why embedding a model into your applications and having a framework that will automate the database interaction is such a powerful feature. But it's only the beginning of what the Entity Framework provides. You'll learn about this and so much more from my book.